Hey guys, what's going on here? It's uh, Big Larry. I want to put a video up for you guys to show you some people out there still don't know how to make ringtones out of their uh, iTunes 9. So I'm going to show you how. Um, just to let you know, I am doing my work on a Windows 7 operating system, um, so I'm, I'm not sure how it would work with Mac. I'm guessing it shouldn't be that much more different. I don't know, I never worked on a Mac before. Um, if I ever happen to get my hands on a Mac, I will definitely put a video up for you guys for that. But let's jump into this and show you how to do it, how to make ringtones through iTunes on Windows 7. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up iTunes here. Alright, so you have some of my songs already up here. What we're going to go ahead and do is just this really simple one of, uh, you know what, let's do crazy. How's that? Aerosmith. You can't knock Aerosmith. Just for giggles. I like to go ahead and put crazy up here. I like to put it just so I can have it right up front. Um, and I don't have to mess with other songs. Now you see you have other ones here. Not a big deal. So we're going to take this one and we're going to go ahead and click advanced. And we're going to go down to create a AC version. What that does is creates a copy of the song itself. So you're not really messing with the original song. I do this just so I don't make any mistakes and mess the original song up. Okay. So it's going to take a second to finish. It's all done now. Now you have your copy right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it, go down to get info, go down to options. Okay. And from options, you're going to pick how, how long you want it. Uh, originally you're going to go through and you're going to pick the exact parts of the song you want. Um, just to make it very simple, I'm just going to go ahead and start it at 30 seconds. Make sure you do click these two here, here guys. All right, make sure you turn them on. And we're gonna go ahead and go to zero, zero, zero. Uh, go ahead and go to zero, zero. And we'll make it a 30 second one, okay? To let you know, 40 seconds is the max um, that an iPhone ringtone can take. So generally I like to keep mine between 15 and 20 seconds is my little sweet spot where I like it, okay? So we have that. It's marked start time, stop time. You have 30 seconds of time. We're going to hit OK. Simple as that. So we're going to make sure this is... Uh, there you go. Started at 30 seconds. So from there, we're going to go ahead and click the file that we just modified. Advanced. We're going to create another AAC version. Now what that does, right there, see? Now you have a 30 second. All right, so there's your ringtone. Now we're going to go ahead and delete this. We don't need it right now. That's done with that part. All right, so here we go. Yeah, we just have been. Okay, so here's the fun part. You right click on your modified 30 second ringtone version. You're gonna go ahead and go down to Show in Windows Explorer. All right, and here is your song. Now, we're gonna need to do something. We need to be able to see the file extension in order to modify it because it's, it's actually a different uh, file extension that the iPhone uh, reads. So we're going to go ahead and go to organize, you know, open organize up, go to folder and search options, view, and right here where it says hide extensions for known file types, you need to make sure that is unclicked. Make sure it's unchecked, okay? I'm going to show you why right now. We're going to hit apply and okay. Now you see right here, it says crazy1.m4a. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename this. Click the very end, take that A away, we're going to rename it R. Simple as that. Okay? So there it is. If you want to find an extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. Because this is a copy. So for some reason if something went wrong, this is a copy. It's not a big deal. Yes, okay, now we need to make sure we know where this file right here is. Okay, it's computer, gateway, blah, 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 iTunes, media, music, so on and so forth. Okay, so what I like to do is just go ahead and minimize that as a reference. So you'll always know where that file is. And I'm going to show you why right now. We're going to have to delete this. So we're going to take that modified version we had, and we're going to delete that. Remove it. It is gone. Now, go to ringtones. As you see, I already have one made here. I have a couple made, actually. We're going to go ahead and go File. Add File to Library. 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now we need to find that file. So I know exactly where it is. We can look on our reference. It's going to be music, iTunes, so on and so forth. So we're going to go to music. We're going to scroll on down to iTunes, which is right. Oh, I need to pass it up. And there it is. iTunes. We're going to open that file up. It's going to be under iTunes Media. Music. Aerosmith. Big ones. There it is. Now you can open it up. Simple as that. And now you have crazy 30 second clip under read tones. Should work just fine in your iPhone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right now. I'm going to sync it with my iPhone. I'm going to show you that it does work and this is not just all fluff. Alright guys, back in one second. Alright guys, so I just uh, finished syncing it to my iPhone, the uh, crazy ringtone. So let's go ahead and fire this up real quick and see if this works now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go into settings, sounds, and just let you know I'm not BSing you there. See, there's a sounds options, ringtones. Okay, yeah, you really, really can't see that hard as I try there. All right, yeah, if you see crazy right on the bottom there. So, anyways, we're going to go and find this up real quick, make sure this works. So, here's a crazy. Oh. Simple as that, guys. All right, see, it works just fine. So, it wasn't too hard. Um, fairly easy, actually. So, sorry about that. So, you guys just go ahead and, uh, have fun. You know, it's not hard. It's very simple. Take any song you have, um, create an AAC version, AAC version of it, and do your modifications. Otherwise, if you guys have any questions, comment on down below, and uh, I will definitely get back to you. I'll respond to you guys. Um, otherwise, make sure you, oh, let me, there you go, subscribe right above there. There's, there's a button. Hit that subscribe, um, and there'll be a lot more good videos coming. All right, guys, this is Big Larry. Check it out.